not believe how excited I am about today's oh, show. Oh, I haven't been this excited since I woke up and realized I have last night's bubble gum in my mouth and it still has flavor. Oh, what was the flavor? Sour apple. You want some? Just tuck it in there in my hard palate. Well, we're excited because we have got a killer show. Yes, we do! Today we are going to play a game using these! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. What are these? What, robot parts. We're building robots today. Awesome. Do you know how to build a robot? No, I don't have the first clue. But I thought we could use a robot expert on the show to help us out. So I made a few calls. Everyone I talked to uh, recommended the same person. She's been building robots for half her life. She's won all kinds of awards. If anyone can help us build a robot, it is her. Well, now I am excited. Who is this robot expert? Let's meet her together, shall we? <laughs> Please welcome someone who knows stuff. <laughs> hey guys. Hey, <laughs> come on in. Have a seat. Wait, you're, you're the robot expert? I've been building him for half my life. And how long would that be? Since I was six. 
Oh. Huh. Huh. Uh, gonna tell us who you are and what you know. My name's Mishka, and I'm a 17-time robotics competition grand champion. <laughs> what? That is amazing and also convenient uh -huh. because John and I need help building a robot for a game we're gonna play. Do you, do you mind helping? Not at all. All right. Okay, as you can see, we got all the parts right here. We just don't know where to start. Okay. Why don't we start with separating out what you've got so we know what we're working with. Cool. Brandon, you grab the geared motors. John, you grab the ADT gears and the worm gears, and I'll separate out the sprockets and the rest of the parts. Uh, go. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We don't know what any of this stuff is. Yeah, uh, 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 is this a wormy gear? No, that's a wheel. <laughs> a motor. Okay. A gasket. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Huh. What is this? Einstein, Bose, Newton, Curry, McGuire. That would be a toothpick. Oh. <laughs> um, you know what? <laughs> Forget sorting the parts. I can walk you through the build. Let's start with putting the short axle into the geared motor. Then we insert the anchor pins through the 11 hole rod into the three hole dual rod. And those attach to the top of the geared motor. Is this it? Einstein, Bose, Newton, Curry, McGuire. Are those, are those other parts you just mentioned in here too? I... No, they're, they're Einstein, Bose, Newton, Curry, McGuire. They're famous physicists. Oh! Yeah, it's a little thing I do when I get impatient or frustrated. Some people count to five, others take three deep breaths. I name physicists. Oh. It works for me. Oh, I, I'm sorry that we're frustrating you. We've, we've just never built a robot before, so. Oh, I totally understand. I just get impatient sometimes when people don't understand things as fast as I do. Oh, <laughs> I totally get that. It's like me trying to tell my dad how to program the VCR. <laughs> What's a VCR? Oh. <laughs> What's a VCR? What's a VCR? <laughs> Einstein knows Fig Newton Spree's Magnum PI. Yeah. Hey, that works. <laughs> How about this? I'll just build the robots for you so you can play your game. Oh, I love deal? that idea. Go for yeah. it. Uh, several minutes <laughs> later. There you go. Oh. Whoa. Oh, look at that. These are amazing! Thank you! Oh no. Thank you. And thank you for having so much patience with us. No problem. <laughs> it's time to play. Robo Robo! <laughs> okay, the rules are simple. Brandon's trying to knock my robot off the desk, and I'm trying to do the same to his robot. Whoever does it, wins. You ready? I've never been more ready for Go! Uh-oh, uh, look at that. Look how much bigger. Oh, oh, come on. I gotta use some different tactics here. Oh, 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 I'm gonna up into you. No! Oh, yes! Oh. Yeah! That's no fair, you had a bulldozer thing. <laughs> Victory lap! <laughs> Can't turn my wheels! <laughs> oh, my, my hand trail off! I win! That was awesome, hey! Brandon, hey, let's go again! Let's go again! Okay, well, we may need Mishka to help put our robots back together again. It's true. Until then, it's Bible story time with Kellen! Yes! Hey guys, cool robots. Did you build those? No. no. Okay. We really didn't have the patience for it, so uh, our friend Mishka built them for us. What have you got for us today? I have something fun, and it's all about patience. Perfect, take it away. 
The Israelites had been in slavery in Egypt for many years until God chose a man named Moses to help lead them to freedom. For the first time in their lives, the Israelite people were free and they were waiting to go to their new home. This story is all about what happened while they waited. And we're going to tell this story with Laundry Theater. Moses climbed up Mount Sinai to talk to God, leaving the people alone at the bottom of the mountain. While Moses was up on the mountain, God gave him 10 commandments and told him a bunch of other things he wanted his people to do. And it took a long time. Moses had put his brother Aaron in charge while he was gone. <laughs> Moses was taking too long and the people started to get worried. So they gathered around Aaron and said, make us a God that will lead us. Aaron told them to bring him all their gold. And that's what they did. Aaron melted the gold together into the shape of a calf or a baby cow. Then he said, Israel, here is your God who brought you up out of Egypt. <laughs> Meanwhile, on the mountain, God told Moses what the people were up to, and God was not happy. Moses came down the mountain carrying the Ten Commandments on two stone tablets. As Moses approached the camp, he saw the golden calf. He saw the people dancing and worshiping it. He was very angry. Moses threw the tablets on the ground and they broke into pieces. He took the calf the people had made and burned it in the fire. Then Moses ground the calf into a powder, scattered it all over the water, and made the people drink it. The end. What a story. The ending is a little dark. That's true. But impatience has consequences, right? As soon as the Israelites had to wait on God, they turned their backs on him. They forgot what they knew was true. They forgot how God loved them so very much and had rescued them from slavery. They forgot about the miracles and how God had provided for them. You know, I, I think I forget about what God can do sometimes when I'm impatient. Oh, oh, me too. Hey, we all do. When things are tough and they're taking way too long to get better, it's like we forget everything we know about God. We should be consistently reminding ourselves of how good and how powerful God really is. Wow, good stuff. And thank you, Kellen. You're welcome. I'll see you guys later. No, Kellen's right, you know. Well, that's usually the case. Yeah. Anytime I'm impatient, I'm always thinking, this will never get better. It's going to be this way forever. The microwave will never stop counting down. Just have to change what I think about. I think you're on the right track there, buddy. Reveal, Reveal the, the question! question! What can you think about when it's hard to wait? Oh. Like Mishka today, she thinks about famous physicists when she's feeling impatient. You can also count to 10 or take deep breaths. Oh, you can recite a Bible verse in your head or say it out loud. I like Psalm 2714. Wait for the Lord, be strong and don't lose hope. Wait for the Lord. What about you? What do you think about when it's hard to wait? Yeah, talk about it together. And we'll see you next time on the So and So Show. Bye. I'm going to get you. This is a lot more I fun think, when they were put together. I think we need Mishka back. I think we do too. Ah! Oh! Ah! You're going down, buddy. We're not going anywhere. I know. I just broke hey, the remote. Hey, hey, hey. Tread lightly. Yeah. I should have had more patience. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> when night has fallen, when fear is coming, still you're calling me. When faith is lost and my hope exhausted, you will be my strength. When my mind says I'm
promises to me.